Okay, so I've got my assignment A all cleaned up. Again, I've included a content link style, and I put in a indicator that there is something to do in the CTAs. I've used the word more and with the arrow, and again, I also made that bold. There are other styles in the character panel here that you can integrate if you want to do an underline of the classic underline here. You can click on that. It'll create an underline of your selected items. As that goes, um, the only thing here I would have said is that I, I changed the size of my main navigation. I lowered it down to 20. That's just because I can. Uh, I felt that uh, 24 was way too big for my design, so I, I cleaned that down, but I included that on my style sheet, update that fact. As it were, what we're going to be focusing on today, though, is taking the main navigation and creating a hover state. So, from the very beginning, I'm going to click on my main navigation, and I'm going to duplicate it. Duplicate group. And I'll just change that to dash hover. Click OK. I'll turn off, I'll leave that above that because that's conveniently exactly where I want it to be. And I'll turn off the existing main navigation so that there isn't any confusion in the visual aspect of that. Otherwise, open up my main navigation. Notice I have broken up my uh, text here. It's now in three different segments. This will be to my advantage. It also turned out that it made it much easier to make, to line everything up to my guides and grids, which I'm going to turn on right now. I'm going to command, turn on my, I've got uh, a 40 pixel, 40 pixel distance between each of my items here, which gives me 20 pixels on both sides to work with as far as um, padding and or margining, which I'm going to take an effect when I create my quote unquote button area for my specific item. I'm going to choose signage as my hover. And as I said before, I, I got a 40 pixels um, buffer there. So I'm going to use 20 pixels to both sides as my area. And to quickly create that simple uh, uh, bit here, I'm going to uh, get my um, use my rectangle marquee tool and create a 20 by 20 shiv, so to speak. And by doing that, I will create a perfect 20 by 20. And I can line that up right next to, and I'll snap right to, uh, select the uh, layer I want. It'll snap right to the edge there. And that's telling me that to that side is 20 pixels. I can go to the rulers and grab a guideline, and it'll snap right to the edge of that box there. Same thing with, uh, I can move that to the other side of the signage there and get 20 pixels out that way and move my guide in. And notice that my my little uh, indicator there is telling me it's 431.0. It's keeping everything to the exact pixel. Nice and easy and clean. That's good. That's what I want. And that's why I'm using all these little simple, these little simple tools there to keep everything nice and orderly. Now after that, I'm going to hit Command-D to deselect that. Now, I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is go in and grab my shape, my rectangle tool. I'm going to create a box around my signage, but I need to decide what's going to be. The color of my hover is um, a, I have it in my style sheets, this color light blue. So I could actually grab that, Command C, and go to my fill here and click on the little, uh, Add icon, I'll give me my color picker where I can just paste in my that blue and it's automatically there. I don't even have to think. I just have to respond. And so, with that as my fill, go over to my box here and I'll draw in my, um, there's my hover state. Oh, that's why that was up there. Okay, I'll leave that dangling over here. Rename that hover and move that underneath the word signage. I'll zoom out really quick to move that over. So in, in a sense, that's my hover state for my signage already. Boom, just like that. Now I'm gonna I, I'm gonna group these together so I can keep a, now there's a couple of reasons I'm gonna do that. 
First of all, I'm going to uh, name that sign hub there, just keep things in order. But now that I've created that, what do you think I can do now? Anybody? Duplicate it and move it down and create my first drop down menu. Simple as that. So I'm going to uh, duplicate that group and I'll call it uh, item one. And I'll move it underneath there so it's in the proper hierarchy. And I'll just hold down the shift key, get my move tool, and move it right underneath it. A couple things I can do at this point. Um, I'm going to find the edge and make sure I, I got it. Okay, now that line there isn't really there. That's an optical illusion. If I want to put a, a line in there, I'm going to actually physically have to put that line in there. So I'm going to turn on my guides. And sure enough, there's my little guide line there, perfectly there. I'm going to create a line, a white line break there on the top. So I'll get my line tool, put the fill as white. I don't really need white. I, I could I could do off white if I wanted, but as it goes, white and a weight of one. And leave, make sure I'm in the item one there, and I'll just lay that one right across. Oops, I got an arrow on the end, so I'm going to Command Z and go and take the arrowhead away. That must have been left over from assignment way back when, and drop that in there. Now I'm going to make sure that for reality's sake that it's actually, yeah, yeah, it looks like it's part. Okay, so it's, if I turn that off, there's my, oops, shoot, I'm sorry, call that a rule. That's the, te that's the uh, technical term for that. Yeah, there's my item one. Now I've got to go there and change the Now, the other thing is, that's not necessarily, three things are kind of off about this one. First of all, I should really create, um, oh, some way of not having that happen. Um, make this a hover area. I'll expand that out so it's about 200 pixels. So I'll go to Edit Free Transform, and I'll watch the uh, outer number there, and it goes out to about 200. All right, there we go. And I'm also going to change the background color, as I don't want that to be necessarily the hover state color on that one. So I can change that to, uh, oh, my uh, my medium gray color. That'll probably, yeah, that'll work great. Okay, so there's my item one. With that uh, selected, I'm going to grab a guideline and tuck that up underneath that so that when I, then I'm going to duplicate item one. And name that item two. And move that down underneath item one. And that line should follow. Oh, my line's not long enough. So I'm going to go in here in my ruler. You're going to use the command key to get both the rules, just the rules themselves, edit free transform. And as long as I'm going in a lateral movement, that should be nice and clean, 200 pixels. So that was a quick edit there. All right, I'll just change the one to a two. And I don't want to, okay, and then again, put a guideline underneath number one there. And now I, I can actually grab one and two together and duplicate both of them at once and move them into place. Whoops. Move them down here. Sorry. And move that all the way down to there. Of course, over here, change that to a three and change that to a four and over here change that to a three and change that one to a four and then go in one of these maybe three and change that I'm going to zoom out here so I can see everything and change three to the hover state that that's going to be which uh, maybe in this case uh, goes to blue also, or maybe white so I can go in there change the fill to uh, uh, maybe a light gray. Now again, if I'm choosing a gray here, I better make sure that um, I keep it that way, and then I better change that item three to a to a darker color here. I'll use the 333, so for visual point. And then the last thing I gotta do is update my Oops, sorry. I need to update my color here, so I'm going to take a sample of that. Oh, when you want to take a sample of a color, you can actually right-click when you got your uh, 
drop tool there and copy hex code or HTML, either one. Grab HTML. I can go back over here and in here go, uh, this is 15% gray. And Command V. And there's my color nicely. I'll get rid of that. And I'm also, let's see, make sure I get the uh, H. Okay, that's, uh, no again. 225. So I'll grab that RGB there. Put that up there. Let's change that to a 2, to a 2, and to a 2. Sorry. Two, two. Okay. And that's my that. And there, people, is a quick and easy way to create a drop down menu for the assignment. So, overall, what I would see from here is again, you would have the screenshot that I'm looking for, would have all of this open, this one open, uh, your main, all that open. One of your CTAs representationally open, and your footer. And take a screenshot of all that and patch that all together accordingly. And then the second screenshot would just have you know, that. And then you would have your main navigation, and you could take a screenshot of that too. All right, any general questions, comments? Yes. Yep, and that's that. Oh, that's a wrap. And that's a wrap.